scenario. DXN, in our opinion, in our experience, is a great business opportunity. I have seen in my life, I'm a basically a business consultant uh, for years now, 35 years. Now, I have seen many business, we do the business rating and business analysis. I was surprised. DXN is a superb business because of certain things which are unique in that, which is not found in many other business. First thing is, DXN can make a change in somebody's life. That is the first thing which attracted me. And uh, how it changed, partly Dr. Malti spoke about it, partly you are going to see it now. Now the DXN is unique. Certain things are unique points which I want to draw your attention to. It's a long-term life partner. People who want to enjoy business can enjoy it for a long time. It's not for a short time. You are the whole life you can do it. After you, your children can do it. Next is flexible, adaptable business system. It can, it can suit a lay person. It can suit a professional. It can suit a businessman. It can suit even the best uh, available, comfortable lifestyle personality. It can be adapted because DXN is well designed. Thanks to Dr. Lim and the team of people who designed this business. And uh, they have done with a lot of vision into it, a lot of compassion in it. That's what is interesting. It takes care of the, the normal requirements of an individual at a low level. At a low level, it reaches. Even an ordinary person can do it and still be comfortable, more comfortable in many methods. Now, high personal satisfaction for a person like us, for both of us. And um, it gives us great satisfaction. In fact, Dr. Malti is a practicing doctor. She is a thoroughbred professional, busy professional. I've been a businessman, industrialist, exporter. And uh, still, I rate the kind of satisfaction DXN gave, nothing else gave me. That's what is important. So I rate this business is good. This DXN has got certain inherent things, which, which makes a lot of change in your personality itself and personal satisfaction and the peace you achieve in that. Then finally, social impact and self-esteem. If this is one area where you do a business which makes a positive change in the society, in the people who you are dealing with, in the people who belong to you, in the people at large, all the people, it will improve their welfare. So because of that, you get two things. Number one, a satisfaction. Number one, a pleasure that, yes, I can contribute to this world. Finally, a self-esteem. Yeah, even though I'm a common man, I can make a change in life. That's very really interesting. So DXN is a valuable experience. I won't say it's just a business experience. It's a very new addition to my life as such. Now let's little more go a little more in detail. As a professional, I always recommend when you take a subject like DXN as a business, take a subject, you you have to go analysis properly. You have to analyze it first, then understand that, then take it into you, experience it, experience the business, then enjoy the benefits. This is how if you go, then step by step, you are the DXN becomes you, you become DXN, and that becomes part of your life. And ultimately, DXN reveals itself as a great source of inspiration, harmony. Generally, in DXN, we come across three major groups of distributors. All of them have got different, different needs. Now, three groups anybody can understand is, number three is consumer. There are distributors who come to DXN just because they want to consume the product. It may be for Sickness, it may not be for sickness, just for prevention and be physically, mentally fit. This is consumer group. They are not really interested in uh, monetary part of it. The second group you notice is a small timer. These people come to DXN, they become distributors, they buy the products, they consume, and sometimes what happens is they have spare time, they have benefited by it. 
they pass on this benefit to people by referring to more consumers. These people, by referring to more and more people, they are bringing in more and more business to DXN and they also get certain financial reward. This financial reward ultimately subsidize their own consumption. Sometimes it may also earn little more money for the person than though he is not a really serious business person, it may get you a couple of uh, dollars or rupees to their kitty and this gives them immense satisfaction. Here is something which you get help as well as some income. So this is another group. The third group and the most important group I wish to address today, big business operators. These people, the main objective is to do DXN as a business in a big way. They will, uh, depending upon the individual choice, they would, uh, would like to do it as a big business in their area or countrywide or international. Okay, I belong to the last category. We belong, we, we took it to international levels and that exposed us to a lot of learning, maturity in handling the business. So I'm going to share a lot of these things with you now at the moment. So they invest, these big business operators have got the main objective. They have to grow and be established on a long-term basis with DXN. Where DXN will become a part of their system. DXN becomes part of their life. And if they have to recall the life, you know, DXN is essential part of it. So these people necessarily have to put in time, efforts, and some amount of investments. This has to be done. There is no, uh, and there is no shortcuts to it. You can, these people are ambitious because they have very big goals. And they have zero needs. Short and long term goals they have set. And they are wondering how to go about achieving these goals. They need business strategy. How to do that? A system which is stretchable from a small level to an international level at, to a few, few million, few rupees to a million rupees. How to expand is their requirement. And they require the knowledge. My dear friends, I have to confess, these people require education of DX and business, knowledge, skills. You have to have skills if you want to do it in a larger scale, like any other business. Any business require, they require knowledge and skills, and you must have the right kind of an attitude and aptitude. You must have that. If you do not have that, you have to imbibe it or get it from through various sources. And if you do that, and it's not only just getting acquiring knowledge once, it is a continuous learning in business. You have to learn it continuously. If you learn it continuously, you will see that more are confident in handling any situation in that business, and you are ready from that level to um, boost up to the next level. So this is what I'm going to spend a little more time in it because it calls for a little more thinking and participation from your end. There are, in your, amongst you, you may have uh, two, three levels of um, uh, achievement in the action. For the people who are very fresh, they have to go through certain exercises according to the team leader. There are people who have achieved something and they are looking for expansion they have to go through some other exercise and some other training and some other strategy, then train themselves and do it. People who have already achieved, mind you, people who have come to top levels. Not, I'm not talking about the names of the position. I'm not talking about in terms of the professional achievement. If you have come to that level, we have a duty to share our knowledge, experience to the juniors and inspire them to do their bit of game. This is what is the how the whole structure is devolved. And DXN has very carefully developed the system. And culturally, traditionally, DXN is more and more comfortable for people like us who believe that 
there is a guru parampara guru parampara somebody teaches you you follow that you practice you perfect it and you may become better than even the guru it's possible it all depends on there is a reward for every performance and every growth now i'll go take you through the professional analysis of the whole system now for this purpose of analyzing dx and business and how to adopt to ourselves to our life we have a systematic learning we learn very system half a sad if you do it you lose time energy and some amount of money too unless you work little more systematically learn systematically and implement systematically you may find it very very difficult to achieve in the time span given now for this the flow of subject will be basically you understand dx and business principle and concept the key factors which run dxn as a business and the growth engines in dxn what is what is really contributing towards the growth of dxn uh, uh, in uh, growth of this business in our team next is you have to have definitely a identified time restricted strategy and certain methods to follow according to the strategy then four skills are predominant we are going to talk about it out of the 16 skills i have shortlisted four skills for you uh, for this discussion then next finally i have to design my own business model under dxn plan a given plan how to de- develop my own because i have re- very limited time i have very limited resources when i am my resources are limited i must have a good plan with me otherwise i'll be wasting i can't copy somebody else it's not correct i have to design and keep it for me definitely there are senior who help you there are achievers who help you to do that way and uh, you can easily get trained in that then finally understand the you have to have certain amount of preparedness wherever you get certain amount of weaknesses in the system affecting you how to overcome that that weapon also you should have finally you should continuously continuously maintain certain culture in line with dxn dxn is a company with a lot of ethics lot of honesty and lot of culture which anybody in dxn more than 5 years will have done such a lot of such a beautiful ethics which dxn has exhibited very rare to see in in this industry so we are all lucky that we have dxn with us i at this moment i salute dr lim the founder and uh, who has brought out a beautiful thing today it is very very suitable to everybody even to a lay person the first principle one has to understand growth business principle purpose of business uh, any business is growth it is not earning money remember that this is a law design the profit is always the result of growth always when you talk about success in business stability of your growth is success growth itself is not success stability consistent with your success you must be so consistent with your growth you must be able to maintain a good level so then only the success comes so you have to learn what techniques will maintain that what what should i do how to do a strategy for that select business actions according to the strategy now let's check our systems there are two rules in for checking the system rule number 1 is if you have followed certain activity if you have followed certain methods if it has not worked for 3 4 years continuously then the chances are that particular method will not work in the future also please remember that it's a law many times i have seen 
seen with people coming and comes last five years i am doing this sir or beginning it was working all right later on it will not work on it right. then it is time for him to review whether but the system has got certain flaw certain error certain inapplicable inapplicable situation so if you do that then you can most of the time you can quickly change over or modify the system and start working in that the rule number 2 is any method any system already in use should undergo periodic review you should review the method which you are following whether that continues to be effective or not if it is not effective you have to look into modifications if you modify the same system suitably it get gets adopted again dxn dxn business system it's an open book and the dxn is a very well designed well thought out good checking mechanisms in it they are good business system by itself here there is nothing secret about it dxn as a company if you take it it is a producer and supplier of health products this is their business and there is a consumer this consumer is in need of health for that purpose he is in need of health products you have to understand consumer with the knowledge he can buy the product but knowledge itself cannot cure his problem so this product this company products from the company dxn reach the consumer here what we have to understand is the third role comes in the picture the third role is network you and me the team comes in the picture here now the team has got three important roles and about 20 subsidiary roles the important roles are promotion of the products and the concepts dxn i will be telling you sometime down the line dxn involves a lot of concept selling so we have to have promotion and this is one activity second thing is if you are a retailer of the products then you have to make sure that you retail to your consumer if you are a retailer if you are not a retailer you are only a networker which is very rare to find in fact i am a good retailer my my personal retailing is very high but uh, indian condition it's about uh, 12000 to 13000 pv i sell every month personally so retailing means you have to distribute the product yourself you know the cost you know the purpose you know the product and you know the counseling you give it this is how the retailing is done the last one is services many times when you are dealing with a the consumer they have difficulties they have doubts they have a uh, little suspicion uh, they, they have expectations all those things are there we have to give services in that area so networker has to predominantly be trained into is three a networker if you are not trained your energy and time both are excessive and you lose it if you are well trained you are efficiency and effectiveness both are very good that you are able to do this business much better that is what i am trying to submit to you as well this country business for for us fortunately dxn is our backbone it not just giving you money for the service it's not bonus is not just the money they give you training they give you the support services if you are stuck anywhere they come and give you a hand they lift you up so dxn without dxn organization management many times we find it we are lost many times merely giving you a product you we cannot do the business they give you a lot of enormous support this support my dear friends let us recognize this without the support received from our life has been in a messy and uh, 
I'm going to tell you a little more about uh, DXN uh, contribution to our growth in a different way. Now, adapt to the system effectively for business growth and business stability. To adapt to this. If you understand the system well, now follow the system. Follow the system. Don't try to deviate from the system or modify the system too much that you cannot be helped later. Yeah, just a moment, doctor. I'm checking. Okay, okay. No, it's okay. We can hear it. We can hear it. It's fine. We're in the fine. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. I don't know how it happened. I, I am a little perplexed. Okay, yes, no yes. problem. Yeah, it's okay. Now, I, I'll continue with this. Sorry for the interference, my dear friends. Only we are in the health industry. When we are in the health industry, there are a few things which are unique about the industry. First thing is health is private. Generally, people do not talk about their health problems to everybody in public. It's a little private. Doctors themselves take a lot of time to come to the point because they ask 150 questions to understand two or three more health problems in the patient. Well, where are we standing? So, first thing is health is private. Second is the person who is undergoing a, a improvement in health it is a time-drawn process. It is an experience. It is not uh, dramatic. It doesn't happen that way. And health is subjective. Some people will say my energy is very good. Some people will say my energy is not improved. This kind of sub subjectiveness, health is emotional. Sometimes health is dynamic. Yesterday he will say something. Today he will say something else. And health is a now we are targeting targeting a health oriented consumer and many times handling that requires little more professional you have to be you have to be more trained you have to have more experience you have to have maturity in handling things marketing method you have to understand dxn marketing method is concept marketing a word which most of the people are familiar, meaning when you sell a product, what you are selling is the hope to the consumer. You are telling somebody you are going to be after two weeks better. That's a hope. We are selling a concept. And that fellow has to, that fellow has to believe you. These two things are there. Now, second is DXN is ethical marketing. Meaning, every word which comes out of, uh, of us on the health line has to be with responsibility. Without responsibility, we can't make any statement in the health industry. And most of the time, this is being handled very well by the training team. Trainers are teaching the pe people very well. Dr. Malki tells people very clearly, not use certain words. I don't want to elaborate on it. These words give wrong information and wrong belief, wrong expectation to the consumer. Let's understand we are in the health industry, so we have to have certain order with ourselves. Then strategy. What, how do we approach the business? How do we approach the product? How do we approach the, how do we approach, what is the approach? That approach is called strategy. Now, there are in DXN, predominantly, there's a product strategy, there's a marketing strategy, there is a networking strategy. These three are the main things which any leader, any big time businessman has to address. If any one of them is weak, to that extent, the growth will be impaired. I want to caution that point. Product strategy strategy have a strategy in place or you should learn it market strategy you should have a mark strategy in place it is for your business it is not for dxn as a whole it is for your business 
Now, certain business skills are needed if you are doing a big time business with DXM. And today I'm addressing completely about big timers. Big timers, people want to do a great thing in DXM and they would, I want to equip them with this kind of in that. There are four business skills which are essential in this. Many skills are there, but essential, most vital things are these four. You must have analytical skills. I'm not going to elaborate. This is part of the workshop. Second thing is, administrative and organizational skills. You must know how your team is performing. You must be able to analyze how your organization is functioning. If certain income balance imbalances are taking place, why it is happening, those things. Then communication skills. Whatever you speak, it comes with a responsibility. You are accountable for what you say. Because business people cannot escape just making a statement and gone away. We are not politicians. So, we have to understand, we have to have a responsibility and accountability. So communication, finally, marketing. Marketing skills are something which I'm discussing all along is in that. And it, if you make it very, very clear about it, marketing skill. Okay. Now, all these skills can be trained. That's a good news. All these things can be trained to anybody in DXN. Anybody. Because... DXN is beautifully designed, beautifully designed, such a way a lay person can become a billionaire. That is possible in DXN because you can train all these things into it. Generally, for based on my personal and professional experience, I use these three techniques continuously from 2002. I have been using this. These techniques as analytical too. I'm not going to go through this much uh, uh, because these are all certain things which is part of the training. Okay, now I want you to understand how I analyze it. How I use these things to make a strategy or make a methodology, make a system. Okay, so DXN is amenable for this particular management tool. And uh, SWOT is nothing but commonly known to everybody in management strength, weakness, opportunities, and threat as it is perceived from your angle. That's how it is. You have to take it like that. And uh, I will give one or two examples there. Then we will go on. Correlation techniques and references. Now, in this, strength is what is the strength you have in business. Understand it. Always position your business based on the strength. Remember that. Now, I will tell you something. Dr. Malati Ramani, if she has to do the business, her strength is the customers come to her. You have to understand that. Health needy is coming to her. That is her strength. And that strength, how to address, she has to learn. So, if it is marketing man, the strength is he can convince people, persuade people to get into a product. That is his strength. So there are a few, five, few strengths you can list it out in your own system. Then, then train the people based on your abilities. Then opportunity, threat. Coming to some example as DXN as a whole in general. Our strength in DXN business, I'll quickly go through. Good quality product, you do not require any additional certificate on this. It has proved for more than 25 years now in India, in, uh, in the world, and it has been consistently good. And uh, DXN is very committed about the quality and uh, the effectiveness of the product. Professionally talented, uh, professional talents in the network, DXN can boast of, boast of as the large organization in the world with professionals clouding that. It's, it's a very great thing. And fortunately, we have access to these professionals. Next is business credibility for 15 years. I wrote it as 15 years, but actually it has become 20 years. That means that five years back I was using this slide. Okay. Accreditation awards. DXN is certified in, for every product they are certified. In that, 
and they take local regulations very well strong financial credibility researcher technocrat ceo dato dr lim xiao jin is a personality you have to understand much more than that a kind human is a, is a highly knowledgeable you provoke him you get more knowledge such every time we have in the initial days when you used to talk to him about it very casually used to give away a lot of wisdom i used to really and i'm i'm, I'm one who's lucky to have spent a lot of personal time with him in those days okay in the beginning so i have picked up lot of i understood dr lim seo jin is a great personality who is associated dedicated and he is doing this business not just for money he is doing it with a passion and that is what i, I admire a lot and finally strong international presence which you would have come across in many more than 200 countries it has gone already every country it went it has got made an impact it is not retaliated from that country coming to the opportunities this is external to us now when it is external we have to understand what is that which we can exploit dxn is an established brand today maybe 25 years back dxn had to explain everything about health product everything today the word dxn is on m with health a yeah, total health so dxn brand very well established today internationally you can boast up and say i belong to dxn organization great it gives you a lot of thing in fact we had a very interesting experience when we were talking uh, recently last year when spent time in canada and mexico and uh, when we started telling them immediately they reco oh like that they said that means dxn has already been a established brand all that we have to do use it as a boat for us to float that's all then high growth industry it is in the wellness industry which according to who or any health uh, brand professional is the one of the fastest growing industry wellness industry and he is uh, sorry we have a huge reserve of talented network leadership if you take india india has got many leadership the hundreds of leaders who are dedicated who are very knowledgeable who are very well experienced who are able to contribute willingly towards training the others these kind of a leadership and these kind of a leaders are our asset we can use it and i if you are ready to use it we are we can use them now let's come back to our growth personal growth based on certain model and simulation simulation i did it on with a software simulation i found individual growth in dxn individual growth in dxn network or dxn business how it happens we generally notice from member to star diamond the journey is of a particular type from star diamond to triple diamond the journey is slightly different and from triple diamond to big business crown ambassador crown diamond or anything the journey is a bit different so when you are going through different different experiences you must have different different strategy so 2007 i developed a system to develop for the juniors basically for the juniors who are less than the triple diamond to understand how they can use their resources like time effort and money how to use it for the betterment more effectively so so that is this is a 2007 design it has to be reviewed today okay i'm not sure. all that i'm trying to say is it is possible it is possible that with the talent in dxn system we can always redesign the strategy and start working very well without loss that's why that's where the growth will be consistent growth will be good and respectably high growth now the when i analyzed it this is very personal work this is a very personal work subject to um, differences with people but then i found mem- uh, membership to when you join to star diamond the secret is lying in 
developing retail market. Retail market. You have to pay more attention when you are not a diamond. The attention has to be more in the retail market. Retail market strengthening is very important. And of course, one can always develop a network also. But given that uh, worker under you also should concentrate retail marketing. Okay. So this is how it has to be developed first. Second is the faces, star diamond and Triple diamond. Here I have done a lot of interaction uh, between 2007 and 2011. Network development. Network growth is your growth. That is how you should go. And after that, after triple diamond, you must start scanning uh, the skies. You have to start working at the horizon, go to unknown places, completely uncharted areas, start working. That's how I landed in some places. And uh, those countries are doing well today. Okay. And uh, these uh, uncharted places requires special entrepreneurship, uh, you, you must have the input, the, the uh, courage to test your efficiency in a new area. I went to a few countries uh, and uh, it, uh, surprisingly that includes even US at that time. Okay, so uh, we, we started working, it works marvelously well. But my dear friends, what is interesting is DXN system is expandable to any of the three, any of them. It doesn't give up anywhere. You don't require special attention. You require to modify your strategy and start working. That's all. And uh, they have already conceived all possibilities. And then we have, they have given the system such a way. And the second beautiful and the most interesting thing is DXN organization and their support, help, and uh, training. Wonderful, marvelous. When they do this, and uh, any lay person also is easily able to walk from the retailing to the networking to the big business picture. He's able to do it. Don't miss it. This particular thing. Make the, take the maximum help from DXN uh, organization and start getting into that particular area. Do the right activity at, the, at each phase. Don't fritter away your energy or money in unwanted things. Don't do that. because. In the initial days, money is very important, but time is very important. You may be able to work more, that is different. But time and money, you have to conserve it and put it the right way, in the right area of work. Never divert your attention. Have a concentration and start working at that level. Now, if you take it as the retailer side, this is an old model which I developed uh, in 2005 and six. Tested during seven and nine, 2007 and nine, it worked marvelously well. This is an old design. Do not follow it. It is only for explaining to you how I go about in designing the strategy. Okay, this is only to give a demo. Now, retailer, you must have certain consumers with you, certain member consumers with you. Some people would like to buy regularly after becoming a member because they enjoy certain amount of uh, commission or bonus and that becomes a discount on them. These people will perennially buy it if the cost is uh, perennially buy from us. They won't go for alternative. Loyalty will be very high if they become member. The consumer, on the other hand, if they give up, you, are, uh, they give up, you can always replace it with that. So this is the concept. The numbers don't worry about it. Now, if you become a network trainer, a network uh, builder. Then, at that time, I developed this model and I tested it to over about 150 people. Most of them have reported saying that it gave them phenomenal growth and a stable growth. And uh, this is this model, I'll explain how it works. If you are a star, uh, star diamond, any, any position, whatever be it, you, you may be uh, star diamond, senior star diamond, whatever it is, up to triple diamond. 
you have about six plates you <coughs> must concentrate this is applicable in 2007 okay six legs you must concentrate every one is like your branch office and every one should be able to perform like a retailer and that is the strength then comes the market strategy this is a next strategy network strategy is over and market strategy now market strategy is something where you have a product you have a consumer how to make a mix and match this is what the market strategy is all about product mix there are some consumers now we have about uh, 15 plus number of products with us basically about three or four herbs in it if i take uh, rggl they are core product if you take uh, gano coffee it is a augmented product because in that also the the uh, mushroom has come in so i have with me one product with three or four dimensions with me here i give an example i met a supreme court judge who was my patient and uh, this particular uh, person did not believe he hates taking capsules then during the interaction i found i asked him if i give you coffee would you like it i then immediately said 100 cups of coffee i take every day you you tell me how much then i gave him initially only about 6 cups of uh, lingzi uh, two in three in one at that time and uh, i'm telling you that 6 months later he came back and then thanked me like anything because he is even now he is there and he is consu- he is a regular consumer even now he doesn't take rgg what i'm trying to say is many time what product to go to the consumer only you know you know because you are seeing the consumer you get the feel of the consumer so product has to be mixed accordingly many times we use rggl spirulina generally if it is it is going to be a patient otherwise many times dr malki tells it's it's just sufficient you start off with coffee how you like it let's see or you start off with tea we will we'll see how we go about it after about 3 4 months to give me a feedback we will work it out like that so product mix product options are in your hands you have enough products for everything if there is anybody on earth they come to you you have a product on hand that's what i'm trying to say so next is product extension this product extension is somebody is consuming coffee and over, over a period he comes and says uh, doctor i uh, i am consuming this coffee is too good i am very energetic everything is fine but i have slight uh, diabetes in the borderline what do you recommend then quietly we say why don't you try about three capsules of rg three pairs of rg and gl for about six months and tell me your feedback so i am extending my product to the target is a say this is one way of marketing market mix the third one market mix is where you do not linger and you are a businessman at any time you should not be too dependent on one particular market many times i notice people work in their own area constantly they select some area where they are comfortable and they forever they are only in that area they would not step out of the place lot there are a lot of people who have explored the whole world that is i am not talking about those people this is for the people who underplay that so market mixing is now i have teams all over india in all states particularly particularly i have to thank i should not take the credit i have to thank the leaders under me who joined me in the early days and we were all working together at various levels some people took off and very beautifully they have done it very beautifully have done it and i really appreciate them through them i learned that learned that it is not delegation of work it is delegation of authority that's what i'm talking about when you do that today i can say boldly say yes uh, my team is working in bengal i can say that i may not have gone there so i may say another country but i may not have gone there but my team is working there it's because the concept is market mix you have to mix your markets sometimes some markets will do booming sometimes some market will dip all those things happens now market extension 
market extension is you have a particular market where a few people you have seeded and that particular i take rural marketing this way and uh, very recently also we worked in a rural area where uh, there are only 3 300000 population we one teacher wanted it she found it and then we started telling everybody we gave one presentation after that it's got up like a fire so market when you extend it is a strategy is a methodology okay so do do it so this particular thing market strategy i spend lot of time with my team members i may conduct classes i may do a training program i may even personally tell them to try whatever be that idea is very thing market strategy is yours market strategy is not done by somebody else for you that is what is important this is uh, there are a lot of uh, people who talk more about it but i just indicate to you, i don't want to talk too much about it because uh, my knowledge is much less in this please understand only one thing what governs is income of an individual in dxn is the total pv in his system and his own status whatever he is a 25% uh, or 37% or 42% or whatever percentage he is in. but growth in the in dxn is dgpv and diamond status so i always insist from day one when somebody joins i always look at him you have to be an emperor you have to be a king if you want to be a king from day one the training is for a king not for an ordinary person so this is how the whole training is given and we constantly monitor it may be difficult in the initial days but that will pay dividends in the later on because you are preparing somebody for a to become a raja of the place my dear friends more or less i have indicated indicated for if you want to make make it big with dxn uh, based on our experience and a certain amount of professional background we have shared certain thoughts that these thoughts are not in depth study today because i only wanted to indicate to you that it is possible it is possible with such a wonderful machine mechanism called dx and business so we should not miss the opportunity that is the idea behind it you should not miss the opportunity saying that no no dx and will not work no dx and works dx and works it's only that we have to change our approach and attitudes towards that so certain things i wish to share with you in general from now onwards how money works people talk about earning money earning money earning money but money changes its character the value may change but character if it is taking certain dimensions first thing is when you get more money you have more money that's all when you have more than your need you are called rich when the money you when you are rich you invest them in yielding assets yielding asset mean you must get certain income out of it revenue out of it then you are wealthy when money is spent wisely mark the word you must spend it wisely when you spend it wisely and morally ethically right then it is called a prosperity prosperity is inclusive of the way in which you deploy money spend money please understand that and we in india we call it as subiksham we don't call it as just wealth that's why subiksham that means prosperity prosperity is the one which can make a permanent change in our life permanent change in my life the beauty about dxn is dxn is designed for prosperity it is designed for prosperity it is not just designed for getting some more money it is not just designed for it it is that is why it's able to address all the issues health well society society everything it is able to address because dxn is a total totalitarian in its design integrated into the design practical in the design easy to 
understand and very very nice to work with if you have the right understanding dxn is here to give you all the prosperity and the prosperity is something which gives you peace harmony and happiness now let's come to some of the normal understanding of the business methods when you are working in business many times depending upon the developments outside you you must use certain systems business system today we are using webinar for business 20 years back we were not using this we were collecting at one particular point very difficult to get people at one point and we were doing meeting after meeting after meeting now the systems are available we should use it please use it right i on the on, on a lighter note i will caution you many times adapting a business a system uh, like whatsapp got to be careful because it is a double edged knife sometime whatsapp is merely forwarding 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 killing your time and business time be careful when you use it so we, we are using a business system today reaching millions saving time this is another thought in business do not linger on problems for too long entrepreneurs don't complain they find solutions excellent achievers they do not complain they try to take the issue and then find solutions so avoid lingering on the problems for too long it will drag you down from top position to the bottom position make the best use of right talents in your team you are a team worker there are a lot of people in my case i have teamed up very well with dr malathi ramani you can see it in one of the meetings abroad somebody asked me now i am i am uh, single you are lucky you you have a doctor wife so it's easy for you to i said you have two options you can marry a doctor if you are a single so all these things are on the, all these things you have to understand to team up with some group people there are a lot of talents in the team we must completely do it and then there if you mesh it very well and have the correct kind of a psyche in the team then you will find that the team is 1 plus 1 is 11 it is not 1 plus 1 is 2 that's what i'm trying to say this is a very important point which i observed and which has uh, been we have a role to play and as i discuss the system i discuss the strategy everything we have a definite role to play and we have identified areas of work and play that neat suppose we do that wrong our team also does it wrong that's what i'm trying to say because it is got a multiplier effect of mistakes now coming to certain myths which generally in the meetings people do ask us personally or meetings so i thought i'll just share some of these thoughts because they are also part of our experience doctors only can do well in dxn it is a myth the fact is doctors also have to do dxn as per the marketing plan they have to follow the basics of business principles if they do not know they have to learn it simple you have to understand because ultimately the business is done with the business design it doesn't work with your uh, professional knowledge alone so first thing anybody who allows follows basics of business principles and system consistently can do well please remember that next is dxn consumption replaces other medical treatments for the last 20 years we have been putting a lot of energy to tell the people very clearly and even now people have confusions about it no dxn is only supportive therapy it does not replace any medical treatment in the general sense third mlm products are costly it depends on the company and its business culture 
to be analyzed by experts and say it's costly or not. Meaning, DXN, if you very carefully look, look into it, every product, start with as small as coffee. For the benefits you derive out of coffee, one cup of a coffee, not even 20 rupees. And uh, for 20 rupees, where can you imagine such, such a lot of benefits from that? So cost has to be evaluated based on the benefits drawn, not on the cost on the cost per se. Next is DXN network gets a lot of money and easy money. Wrong. In DXN, you have to put in efforts. It doesn't give you easy money. You have to use your brain. You have to use your intelligence. You have to use your skills. What else you have to do? You have to take DXN seriously and do it as a business if you want to make money in that. And it is not easy. And anybody who is willing to get trained, willing to acquire the skills, knowledge and work for it, definitely will grow in DXN very consistently. Very consistently. More than one MLM is good and safe for us. Some people say that. Totally wrong. I have advised hundreds of people in my team when they go and divert their attention from the main line. Totally wrong. After all, we have to go to the same people again with another MLM. When you go there, you lose your credibility, which you built for last five to eight years with DXN. And you lose your credibility, you lose your income, you lose everything, shirt, pant, everything. Where do you do that? Don't encourage. Never. It is not a matter of discussion at all for a businessman with a lot of honesty and ethics. Ma, MLM is a bad word. MLM business is not dignified. Some people said this to me. My answer to them is MLM, it is an individual who makes MLM bad. It is not uh, MLM by itself. MLM is a beautiful system evolved uh, uh, about, few, uh, about 100 years back. Evolved very well. And it's a beautiful system. And DXN, it suits very well because it uh, essential nature of DXN, the MLM suits very well in terms of. So maximum mileage for DXN business to you will come from MLM. So MLM is a good word basically because it is very, very suitable for health line business where consumers have to make a choice. Now, DXN is a great life opportunity. Why I say great life opportunity is DXN products give you help. When you are doing the business, you are also a consumer. So you and your family are getting the help. Then the system gives you prosperity. There's a marketing plan. You use the marketing plan. You go systematically as per the schedule you will be reaching very high levels which you cannot imagine for your amount of efforts. So that leads to prosperity. Finally, it gives you commitment. When you are enjoying health and prosperity, some amount of commitment, it becomes a passion. When it becomes a passion, when a lot of people give you the feedback that they are benefited out of it, it gives you a lot of satisfaction. That satisfaction is a one which gives you the bliss. That gives you the happiness. So when we say DXN health, wealth, and happiness, what really it means is this. It is, it's a kind of a inseparable component of the same life. So DXN can make a permanent change in somebody's life, which I, I doubt any other business can claim. DXN can make a permanent change in somebody's life. It is up to us whether we want to make a change or not. You can turn a new life in your life. My dear friends, we are almost at the end of the session. Now I wish to summarize. The great life with DXN is accomplished. Life gives you great, uh, DXN helps you to achieve physical healthness, health 
and uh, mental health when when you, when you talk about mental it is it is not just the feelings it is a security when your health is good your income is good you feel secured your worries are less and socially healthy when you are helping people and people come back and then tell you you have changed my life or you you have helped me a lot at the right time then you feel very elated and socially there is a respect gained after some time so socially you become healthy and financially also healthy finally spiritually healthy i will tell you after this now dxn is complete and total there is nothing other than this you require it makes sure all the five health are addressed to and if you are very very committed you are able to work systematically with certain amount of knowledge attitude and training you can reach a sky high you can be an example to others as far as as a family or a person is concerned there are two things two things one has to understand in life first thing is there is a past tense there is a present tense there is a future tense many times when we look into our experience very carefully study your own experience or experience of your near and dear we waste lot of time in the worries of the past we can't do anything about it anxieties of the future and the clean miss the present we miss the present and because of that life becomes wretched life becomes a burden life becomes a load on you but it is not designed to be that worries of the past few anxieties of the future should be completely addressed and approached with maturity if you are matured then you can have and today what is to be done that can be done with peace and enjoy this is what is that so good achievers or good uh, matured people normally what they do is past gives them lessons to educate wisdom future in the future things gives them the motivation inspiration motivation to do this and present they have a plan they have a goal they have an activity they have a system they usefully spend their time energy and the material money so all the three are workable with dxn so dxn is not just not just another business it is a business which is total in its nature that's why i said this is the spiritual aspect of dxn dxn goes into your system and gives you an unending happiness after some time once you have completed the all the courses in that level so for my good friends there are unchanging laws three laws are there these three law i can share with you law of success laws of success law of faith this law of faith is you become what you believe in if you do not believe in it you can never be however you may be a great doctorate in everything fine if you do not believe in it you cannot make it so what you you become what you believe in it law of expectations when you are doing a planning when you are doing a work certain things you can expect to result these expectations if they are good if you are putting a child in a school you expect them to be a great uh, uh, thing a uh, great uh, leader of tomorrow it may be businessman doctors or engineers or president prime minister whatever it be that is in your mind and you expect that put that put that as a child in the school or college and this particular expectation drives it it goes that is a spiritual part of it it drives it drives it drives it final and last is law of cause and effect for every effect there is always a cause for every result there is always an action so 
this is unfailing law these three law are generally for life it is also true for dxm it is true for any business if as long as we are into it we need not worry about it we are on the right track so my dear friends our experience has not been uh, continuously as a, as it is present in completely only in one way no it's not that it has not ups and downs but then we always believed in learning lessons from the down and uh, getting motivation from the up so up and down has constantly been with us and uh, today we are more matured in dx and business only because of the variety of experience the variety of experience and the efforts with their experience all those things so i wish to share the whole idea of sharing this is to give certain amount of input to the people who want to make a start or in the beginning of the business i want to tell some people who are struggling at one stage or the other i want to address people who are already well established spend quality time with you yourself as far as we are concerned personally we redefine certain things in life because prosperity is how well you spend your money in fact last 25 years we are associated with a couple of ngos in a very serious way and we are working with them and uh, it is not only not only money i'm not talking about money i'm talking about spending as well as contributing by way of non edge certain amount of work professionalism so we do that why i am saying this is basically you have to find your solution the time will come one day that you have to give back dr Ma, dr lim always mentions this to me uh, in the initial days whenever we had chat we have to do something for the people we have to do something for the people so i kindly recall he is he, he has inspired me a lot in that at that level he could he, he could visualize that so i say the same message to you uh, along with uh, the the great people around us and please spend your time wisely enjoy your time life is all about enjoyment and uh, uh, do a good thing about dxn help people who are not equipped with your wisdom and uh, support them wherever it is possible please and have a great time life is all about it's a technique it's an art you have to handle it well and we are all here to help you whenever it is needed with our knowledge and experience go great with that i specifically thank dxn for giving us the platform to share these thoughts with you in a organized way and uh, the whole idea is only tip of certain ideas we have and uh, it is not Uh, a kind of a source book of knowledge it's not that and uh, this can light a few lights here and there ignite a few lights here and there so we are very happy that we could talk to you we are more blessed namaste thank you thank you all the best